Today's episode is brought to you by one of my digital products. It is the Albums That Sell Guide, the Mastering of the Art of Album Sales. And this is perfect for our Black Friday episode here because it is a 45-page guide that has email templates for your nurture phase, show it website templates, marketing campaign strategies, the design and creation process of albums, pricing presentations, communicating value, upselling, closing the sale, all things mastering the art of album sales. And offering an album sale is the perfect Black Friday offer, which is something that I talk about in this episode for Black Friday. And I'm giving you $10 off by using the code podcast. So make sure to use that code and see this offer to make extra income this Black Friday by offering an album sale. Another program that I'm talking about in this episode is my online delivery gallery program, which I love. I've been an OG. It's called Pass Plus, and that is where I deliver all of my online galleries. But what's really cool and what makes Pass Plus so different is that they really prioritize passive income for photographers. They want you to make as much passive income as possible. Therefore, they really prioritize their marketing campaigns and their emails and setting those up so much so that they you can get assigned to a pass educator that will set up your print store, set up your print store pricing in your shop and making sure that everything's connected and working well that way. Set up your automations and your marketing campaigns for you. And it's really, really cool because they want to ensure that you get that passive income. And they will migrate all of your galleries for free over from any other platform, which is super, super nice. And the prices is actually lower, um, which is why I've always loved Pass Plus, except for it is the same exact software as Pick Time, actually. And so it's the same exact software, except for the only difference is that they really prioritize passive income for photographers to make it. So if you wanted to try and see what it was like running marketing campaigns over Black Friday and over this holiday season, I have a two month free trial that you can just try. You can migrate some galleries over or you can just upload some recent galleries and test out the marketing campaigns for free with a two month trial. So I will make sure to link that link in the show notes below. Hello, sunshine, and welcome back to the Gold Biz Podcast with me, your host, Rachel Traxler. Like I said, we are going to talk about Black Friday marketing campaigns because you know what? This year, you guys, we're going to be ahead of it. We're going to be on top of it. We're not just going to throw something together last minute. It's okay if you do. It's okay if you have. We all have, I think. (laughs) So don't feel bad about yourself, but I do have high hopes for you and for all of us this year that we can just plan ahead, create a campaign, figure out our offers, start marketing them now, and how to go about that. So just talking all of it over, we're just going to start with Black Friday psychology, a little bit of psychology behind it. You want to create a really irresistible, juicy offer, something that's not offered any other time of the year. It's not offered. You've never offered it before. This is something brand new, exclusive, limited time, only offered now. People want that permission to invest. And so the more that you can tell them, hey, it's this is what you're wanting, this is what you need, and this is what I'm offering, and this is when you can get it, here it is. They need that permission and they want to be told and they kind of want to be sold to this time of year. Like this is this is the norm. So don't feel bad about selling this time of year. People are looking for a deal this time of year. They're not always looking for a discount. They're looking for a deal. And so I want to have you, I want to challenge you, where can you add more value instead of just discount? And what does that look like for you? How can you create and position and craft together a really juicy exclusive offer? So Now let's talk a little bit about some emotions that go behind Black Friday. There's a few different emotions. Number one is the excitement. So there's a lot of excitement around Black Friday. Like it's an exciting time of year. It's a holiday. It's the holidays. It's the beginning of the holidays. People are excited. They're with their family. It's a fun time of year. So you want to portray that emotion in your business, in your marketing, and in your offerings as well. And people, like I said, are also in a purchasing state of mind. They want to purchase. I don't know about you guys, but I have like a notes list on my phone of like 
things that I'm waiting to purchase on Black Friday, things that I know I want, I know I've wanted all year. I'm going to wait till Black Friday to get them. And we as photographers are kind of like a higher level investment as well. And so we have to remember that people might be thinking the same towards us because we are a higher level investment. But there also is a lot of overwhelm around this time of year as well. So where can you get ahead of the overwhelm? This comes into play with this episode of just creating your marketing campaigns ahead of time, planning them out, being proactive and starting ahead of the game and knowing what you're offering. And so I think the biggest thing here is beating the overwhelm, getting ahead of it. And then that also ties into the confusion. You don't want to have any confusion in your offerings. You want to have really clear marketing, really clear offerings. You don't want to add confusion on top of overwhelm because that is not going to lead to conversion. Absolutely not. That's going to be the number one thing that shuts down your conversion. So beat the overwhelm and be really clear and beat the confusion. That's going to help your overall conversion as well. Now, a couple different things you can think about when picking and creating and crafting a Black Friday offer is whether this is going to be a passive thing or whether it's going to be more of a service-based thing. So if it is a service-based thing, maybe it's a specific add-on or percentage off or whatever of your packages. And then passive is something that's like, oh, this is just an add-on that I either just don't have to do now, or this isn't going to require a lot of my time or in-person attention. Now, maybe you offer one of each. Maybe you're in a season of your life that you cannot take on the capacity to add on more time and more work for yourself. Therefore, you want to look at having more passive stuff. Maybe you're in a season where you're trying a new thing. Maybe you're trying film. Maybe you're trying video. You're experimenting with things like that. You want to add on more travel to your portfolio. Then offering more of a service Black Friday offer might be more appealing for you. So it just depends on where you're at and what season you're in as well, that there's two different options here that you can have. There's a lot of things too. You can get really creative with the passive side, whether that be Offering something as a passive add-on, offering an add-on that you're not doing right now, but you're offering next year. Maybe you're just offering different payment plans. Maybe you're creating an exclusive collection package that you're only offering now. Maybe you're offering templates to them. Maybe you're offering something where you're creating their save the dates or their thank you cards for them, or you're offering a percentage off an album that they can create and order themselves. There's so many different ways and you can get really creative with all of these things. But something I want you to keep in mind too, is when you create your offer and you have this in mind, you now then want to think after the offer and after the sale, essentially, are you creating order bumps? Do you have upsell options? Yes, some of this might be a little techy on the backside, but you can also manually do it as well. So thinking about how are you upselling or offering order bumps on top of a sale that you make. You also want to think about maybe bonus stacks. Where can you add on, like where can you create add-ons or have bonus stacks? So maybe your offer is percentage off a photo album. Well, maybe a bonus stack could be another additional percentage off an additional album that they buy after buying a first one. It can be little add-ons. Maybe if you buy and purchase or book a session with me right now, you also get a family fall session in the fall session too. You can get so, so creative with that and it's totally up to you and how you want to do it. A couple other things to think about are creating a one-time offer and a limited time offer, something that you've you've never offered before and you're only offering it for a limited amount of time. So if you're someone who offers albums, this needs to be an exclusive offer, a part of their album that they can only get now, not just, oh, I'm going to offer a percentage off an album, but I do album sales every now and then or whatever. You can get an album later on. You can always get an album, but you can get it now too. No, this needs to be something that they can only get now. Maybe it's a BOGO. Maybe if they buy an album, they get a free parent album. Maybe they get two free parent albums for this specific exclusive price. There's so many different ways that you can do this and you can get really, really creative. But those are some things that I want you to think about. And now another thing I want you to think about is different price thresholds as well. So there's like 
all the way from the low hanging fruit to the higher priced point. And now I think something that's important is your lower ticket offers should always lead and nurture into your higher offers. If you are a wedding photographer, you always want your lower hanging fruit and those lower offers to nurture and lead someone into what your highest service is. And that might depend on your colder audience to your hot or warm audience. It might depend on whether they're a dreamer buyer or a realist buyer. It depends on how much nurturing that you need to do. But I think it's a good idea to maybe have offers in each bracket, not to get overwhelming or confusing, but at least have offers. If you're going to have two different offers, that they're at least offered in two separate brackets. That might kind of be nice. So maybe a low hanging fruit is like zero to a thousand dollars. And then your middle bracket is one thousand to three thousand dollars. And then your hot audience higher bracket is like three thousand plus, which would be like your wedding collections, your wedding packages, maybe an all in exclusive album bundle, something like that. But having different options in different price brackets is really helpful, I think. I'm interrupting my own episode to give you a quick glimpse into my signature coaching program created for established photographers wanting to double to quadruple their prices, book their highest package, and bring in inquiries consistently. This is my high-level container of go-to photographers who are making huge waves in the industry. And the biggest difference in this program is that we get a full 12 months together for deep dive transformation, weekly coaching call support, four coaches in the program to deep dive into specific topics and a content retreat all included in one program. And I always say, if you can book one extra wedding from your year in the program together, you're going to see your ROI and it's just the weekly norm wins for my students. So I'm fully confident that you're going to be able to do that and way, way more. And this is an application, phone call and acceptance process only type of program. So if you are curious if this is the right next steps for you to just blow up your business this year, you can fill out the application at racheltrexler.com slash apply or get the link in the show notes. I'll be in touch shortly after you fill it out so that we can talk through together if this is the right fit for you. I'm very honest with people and I want this to be a great fit for everyone involved. That's just my heart behind the way I do this process. And I also think that's why my students just see so much success in this program. So don't just be an information consumption overload this year. I want you to be an action taker and start implementing change into your business. So again, if this feels aligned to you, fill out the application at racheltraxler.com slash apply to apply for my passion to profit coaching program. And I also think the most important thing is you just have to pick something and run with it. I think the what isn't as important as the marketing. So you can market a $30 offer the same that you market a $3,000 offer and you can make 1000 sales of that $30 mark mark price point, or you can make one sale at that $3,000 price point. It's all in your marketing. I don't think the, what you're offering is as important as like your pre-marketing campaign, your marketing campaign in general, your messaging and your offer, just how you're presenting it in your marketing overall. And now like just, you want to think about creating like a marketing timeline for your marketing campaign, I would say pick a launch day, whichever meaning like your cart open, your registration, your order forms open, your launch day. This is your launch day. And now you want to work backwards of two weeks prior to your launch day. That's when you're going to start this whole pre- marketing campaign of the announcement. And then maybe seven days out, you're really teasing talking about your offer exclusively. And then the week of is your hard marketing. And then that leads up to your launch. And then the day after, and like maybe a week after is your cart close or you're speaking into those objections. You're creating urgency. You're talking about those things. And then you're talking about how that offer is coming to a close and it's never going to be offered again. So they might as well take action now because they're never going to have it offered again. Something that I think is really important, an important thing to note is that A lot of people, when they think about their marketing, think about, oh, I need to be marketing on social media and I need to be talking about it on social media and all of those things. There's so many other ways to market. And I actually advise against that. I think it's good to create, use social media to create hype around your offers and your marketing, but you should never be talking about what your actual offer is and like the deliverables and the details on social media. 
you should just be using social media to leverage to e- grow your email list. And then when you launch your Black Friday offer, you're launching it to your email list. And if you are someone who has two different types of audiences or you're offering two different types of things, this is where segmenting your email list will really come into play. So that's something that you're going to really want to keep in mind as well too. So all of this to say, your pre-marketing campaign, your email list, all of these things or just your emails in general, marketing to your social media should just lead to your email list so that you can sell to your email list. So hopefully that makes sense. Some other ways to market your Black Friday offer, like I said, social media is just to create that hype. Then you're really going to use your email list to market your Black Friday offer. You also could create a website pop-up for your offer. You can create campaigns within your online like di- digital gallery delivery. I personally use Pass Plus. I know a lot of you guys use like PickTime or something like that. The difference like PickTime, so Pass Plus is the original software that PickTime is. So Pass Plus sold their software to PickTime. So that's PickTime uses the same exact software as Pass Plus. The only difference with Pass Plus is they really prioritize photographers making passive income through their marketing campaigns. So they have someone help you set up your marketing campaigns. They have them automated and sent for you, different offers that way. Just Pass Plus is just an overall lower price as well. And I use it to have unlimited galleries. So there's different price points that you can do there too and different options. And if you wanted to just try and do a free trial of Pass Plus, I can do two months free trial for you for Pass Plus just to try and see how those marketing campaigns go, especially with Black Friday. Now would be the time to see how those marketing campaigns differentiate from others and what that can do to bring you some extra income for this Black Friday and for this holiday season as well. There's also free migration Um offers too, so that you can migrate all of your galleries for free. Someone will migrate all those for free for you from Pass Plus. Whatever, I'm getting a side, I'm getting on a tangent here. <laughs> but Pass Plus, I love, and you can definitely use that. Another way that you can use to market your Black Friday offer is to partner with other creatives, partner with other vendors. Whoever you're creating an offer with, you can do things like hosting a giveaway. You can market it by hosting a giveaway with other people, collaborate that way. You can also do a waitlist strategy. So that's just another good way that you can market, create a waitlist strategy to create that hype, build some momentum around it. Another thing you can do is just batch email past clients, especially if your Black Friday offer is an album or it's like an additional add-on that you can email your current clients. Use the batch email feature in HoneyBook to send to past clients or current clients if you're offering something that is attainable, like feasible for them to do and pertains to something that they can do. That way you don't feel like you have to go out and market to a whole not like new clientele that you need to get all this new visibility. Like you can market to people who have already booked with you or currently booked or past booked, all of that. It just takes a little bit of pressure off that you don't feel like you have to go out and like find new clients that way. But something I think just to keep in mind when you're creating a Black Friday offer is that you want to think about quick cash injections. And you also want to think about how much time you have. And you also want to be careful and weary about offering a percentage off your wedding packages because do what you want. Like you absolutely can do, this is your business. You can choose whatever you want to do, but I don't want you to be known as like a budget photographer. So I don't want you necessarily to just run to offering a percentage off a package and a collection. I would way rather and prefer you to create an exclusive collection package that you're only offering, you're only offering right now. You're only offering for the week of Black Friday and they can only book this collection with you right now. And the reason being is because our window as wedding photographers, our window to book clients is so short. You get engaged, you book a photographer fairly quickly. Like that window is short. So time and time again, I've seen so many photographers say, oh, well, I've offered 50% off a a wedding collection, which is a lot. I've even offered like 20%, 15% off, but I didn't book anything. I wasn't successful with it and it didn't work for me. And then they get really discouraged. And my answer to that is 
I don't want you to get discouraged because our windows are so short. You probably just didn't catch someone in time. You probably just didn't catch someone in the time that they needed to book someone. And also they might look at you and say, well, what changes in the value? Why is she offering me a percentage? Is she not confident in the service that she's providing me? Why is she offering me a percentage off if this is just the normal, like what she charges and all of that stuff? So that's something to keep in mind and just be careful of. That's why I'm a bigger fan of adding value to packages or creating an exclusive offer that's only offered at that time. And then to circle back to thinking about a quick cash injection. So thinking about, you don't want to just say, okay, well, I'm offering this as you get this added to a package that you book with me, or you get this added to a package you've already booked with me. If you're looking for a quick cash injection for Black Friday, that might not be the best option for you. You might want something where people are paying you right now, even if it's a service that you're offering next year. So maybe it's like, Hey, I'm offering a, a, like a discounted rate of this new add on I'm offering. So maybe you want to add on film or little iPhone clips or little content creation, whatever that be, but I, you're, you won't be actually doing that service until next year. They can pay you for that service right now. So say normally I charge $500 or normally I charge $1,000 for that add-on. If you book it with me now, if you add do that add-on now, I'm only charging $500 for it now. And then that way, it's a quick cash injection. It's kind of passive because you're not doing it right now. You're not doing that service right now. And the rate in which you're doing that service is spread out. It's not like you have to sit down and be like, okay, I have to book and or I have to like create 10 albums right now. And I have to do this service and I have to do it right now. I have to do the work right now. It's spaced out a little bit. So that's kind of the benefit of that. The benefit of offering like albums or something like that is that you can market to past clients, current clients, and people who aren't even your clients. You can have, you can market albums to people who you didn't photograph their wedding. And the cool thing about albums too, is that you can also market to all different types of clientele and niches. It can be wedding clients. It can be seniors. It can be boudoir. It can be family. You can market to different types of sessions and different types of clients. So that's really, really cool too. But I know just again, to reiterate, the most important thing is your marketing and messaging around what you choose, not exactly what you choose. So my action plan for you today after this episode, because I love to take action, is to step one, just decide your offer. Step two, map out in your calendar your launch runway. So pick your launch date and then go work backwards and map out your launch runway. Step three is write your emails. So write your email campaign to be 14 days out and then all leading up to your launch and then one to seven days after your launch. You need to have all of your emails written out. And then step number four is to start an email list. If you do not have an email list, if you haven't started it, I personally like to use Kit. It is free for your first 300 subscribers. So plenty more than enough to just get started with an email list. And again, in your pre-marketing runway, all you're going to be doing is marketing your offer. You're not going to be talking about exactly what it is because when you launch it, you're launching it to your email list, not your social media. So that's why it's super important to grow your email list and focus on that in your pre-launch runway so that you can market to your email list and your segmented email list, not your social media. So that's why it's really, really important. And another thing here too, is that you are going to want to set up your pass plus or your online gallery marketing campaigns. Like I said, pass plus just uses the absolute best marketing campaigns. They really prioritize photographers making passive income for their program. So having that set up and ready to go, if you decide the route of like prints, albums, all of those things, if you want to do albums that you look into potentially my albums that sell guide, or you just have that ready to go so that you on the back end are prepped and ready to go. And those are just some things that are going to help you set the stage and get ready for this Black Friday so that you can have 
really good marketing campaigns you can start now and you don't feel like you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall last minute, hoping something sticks and then feeling bad about yourself when you don't get any sales and you don't make any bookings or anything like that. So if you loved this episode, make sure to give it a five-star review. And I loved having you here. I appreciate you so, so much. And as always, keep shining and we'll see you next time.